Let me bring scripture reference to this and hurry. When to strike. I'm at uh, 2 Samuel 5, beginning with verse 17. Very familiar place with those who have been around church for very long. This is David dealing with the, his arch enemies, the Philistines. It says, now when the Philistines heard that they had anointed David king over Israel, all the Philistines went up to search for David. And David heard of it and went down to the stronghold. Isn't it something that the enemy, the Philistines, moved when they heard that David was anointed as king? Yeah. And the Philistines were heathens. They were heathens. In other words, a heathen is someone who worships other gods. And so, in their, in their connection with, quote, other gods or demonic spirits... Something in them knew that David being anointed king was trouble for them. That's why when an anointed woman or man of God stands up, completely sells out for God, and goes after the calling and the will of God, the enemy understands, oh, I'm in trouble. I've got to send the Philistines. I've got to send the enemies of hell. And that's why he's come after your life. He knows that you got a calling, that you have an anointing, and he's afraid of it. He's afraid of it. There's no one better to make afraid than the devil because he's been working all your life to make you afraid. Won't you turn the tables and scare him? How do I scare him? Give him everything and go after the call of God on your life as an anointed man and woman of God. You're scaring the devil to death. Go ahead. He needs it. And he deserves it. You don't. Tell your neighbor, you don't deserve to be scared. And tell your other neighbor, the devil deserves to be scared to death. Come on, tell him. And I'm telling you, he was nervous when David was made king. He's been nervous when you sold out and gave God everything. He said, take my life and use it. When David heard of it, he ran, hid. No, that's not what it says. He went down to the stronghold. When David heard of it, he went to where the problem was. He didn't hang back. He didn't back up. The Philistines also went and deployed themselves in the valley of Riphium. So David inquired of the Lord. Notice what, where David asked his questions was to the Lord. That's why I have a problem with a Ouija board hanging in Whistle Stop restaurant. Come on. Come on. Because a Ouija board is a, is, a, is a tool of witchcraft that you ask questions and you get trouble. You, you, get, you get answers, quote unquote, from an unseen power. What is that unseen power? It is demonic spirits. Come on. And for those who don't understand why a Ouija board is so is such a problem, you can't just Google Ouija board and get correct research. It's like Googling Jesus Christ. Why is Jesus Christ the only way of salvation? How many know you're going to get many different answers? You're going to get so many different answers. For us, we don't have to Google that because we believe the Bible. Amen. And the Bible specifically says that individuals should seek no other gods and should seek no other power but the one true God of heaven. And it says that the righteous should not attempt to communicate with the dead. If you really get to the point to the depths of a Ouija board and no one they'll try on, 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 on Google to, to, to give a date of when Ouija boards were first made but they really don't know because it goes so way back just like seances and so forth when did they start having seances it goes so far back a Ouija 
Ouija board is steeped in communication with the dead, as is seances, as is the, the most of what I deal with when I go to Africa and I'm dealing with demonic spirits and I'm dealing with their problems with witchcraft. The biggest thing that I deal with is their belief in communicating with the dead and that that brings them blessing and good. And so you see how it's all tied together. This communication with the dead. The problem in Africa, they don't get the dead, they get evil spirits. The problem with seances, they don't get the dead, they get evil spirits. The problem with Ouija boards, they do not get just this unseen, cute little power that is giving them answers. They get evil spirits. And it's not something to play with. So that's why I have a problem. 